Good evening, everyone. City leaders believe Corpus Christi is missing out on hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in taxes from short term rentals like Airbnb. And the city's been looking at a way to collect those taxes. As our Greg Chandler reports, a recent Supreme Court ruling may pave the way now for that to happen. Lee, that ruling is Wayfair versus South Dakota. Essentially, it allows cities and states to require online merchants to collect all required taxes, including hotel occupancy tax. Just from Airbnb alone, it looks like uh, we're not collecting about $600,000 a year, and that number is growing every month. District 2 City Councilman Greg Smith is for short-term rentals. Of the hundreds of homes in Corpus Christi listed on Airbnb, several are in Smith's district including on Padre Island. According to Airbnb's website, one of the condos in this building is available as a short-term rental, but the city has no way of knowing who owns it or if that person is paying their hotel motel tax. That's because the city doesn't have a registry of short-term rental owners. Also, rentals shorter than 30 days are prohibited by city code. There's a lot of rentals that are going on in residential neighborhoods that are not allowed by our current zoning ordinance. So while short-term rental owners are supposed to pay 15% in hotel motel taxes, doing so creates another issue. If you're in violation of zoning and you do send that in, then that proves that you are violating the zoning in that neighborhood. Smith says money collected through hotel motel taxes help bring more visitors to town by maintaining attractions like the American Bank Center and local beaches. That money is used to promote tourism and this is money we're not getting. City staff is expected to propose a way to collect these taxes to the council in June. Smith says there are bills in Austin which could affect the proposal so the city wants to wait until after the legislative session. Now, Smith says the city could start collecting the hotel motel taxes on short-term rentals as early as this July.